My name is Jesse, this is Church at Home. Let's go to worship. tool for both good and for bad. The Bible actually describes our words as a fire. Used wrong, our words can bring great loss and pain. But used right, it can bring warmth and light into a dark world. That's what I love about worship. It's that we can use our words to bring hope and love and the truth of Jesus into a dark world. So right now, let's worship together and honor God with our words.
Sometimes those slower worship songs just make me feel like God is, is, like he sees me and is giving me a hug right then and there. You know what I mean? But whether I feel him or not, he is so, 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 so good. Uh, if you're watching this alone, what the blazes are you doing? Go get someone. Church at, is, at home is supposed to be done with at least one other person, especially because today we've got a really great question in my opinion. Um, here it is. Would you rather have to shout every word you say or be limited to speak only 10 words a day. 10 words a day or shout everything you say. Tell us in the comments, talk about it amongst yourselves. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write some notes about this, I'm not sure. If I think about it, if I'm shouting everything I say, I'm gonna lose my voice anyway. So really, I'm probably only gonna get 10 words before my voice goes out, right? I, I think I'm gonna say 10 words a day. I, I, might, I might get better at like learning what's worth saying and what's not worth saying or how to say something effectively. I don't know. Anyway, uh, th this week's episode has another game-changing challenge and actually a, a pretty gag-worthy challenge. Uh, you'll probably want to look away if, if, uh, if saliva makes you queasy. Uh, but it talks about how to stand by what you believe about God and how to be respectful while you do it. Let's watch. Hmm. What do these words say? Hey, gong, form, the loot? Again, but faster. It's gibberish. Say it! Hey, gong, form, the Oh, I see what's <laughs> happening. All together! Hey, hey gong, gong, form, the loot! I'm Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, would you agree with the statement, it's not what you say, it's how you say it? I can definitely think of examples of that. Like if I were to sing bad news to you, but the tone made the bad news not sound so bad. Like, I ran over your bike with my car. Ah, no, that's not bad at all. <laughs> or, I ate the last of the Chex Mix. Ah, you know I love Chex Mix. So, how about this? Your grandma got lost in space. Man, I'm not sad about that at all. Ooh, or it could work <laughs> this way. I'm so sorry. 
You want a million dollars? <laughs> yeah, I can't tell if I'm happy or sad. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. <sighs> Great news. We found your grandma. She's completely fine. Oh, yeah, no tone matters a lot. You know, we can share the hope of Jesus with everyone. The entire world needs the good news of Jesus. But we need to be mindful of how we share it. But make sure that in your hearts you honor Christ as Lord. Always be ready to give an answer to anyone who asks you about the hope you have. Be ready to give the reason for it, but do it gently and with respect. 1 Peter 3.15 minor game changer for me was learning how to drive. Like now, I can go to baseball games and I can get milkshakes. Everyone's waiting for a game changer or something that will change their lives. So we're supposed to talk about Jesus, but who do we tell and when? Hey you, do you know about Jesus? Yeah, that was just a bird. If you've ever heard the phrase the Great Commission, here's what that means. Go out and tell everyone that Jesus shapes our lives into something better. So we learn in the Great Commission that the who is everyone, and the when is any time he gives us an opportunity. There's lots of different reactions people have when you tell them that Jesus was that game changer. Whatever. What are you talking about? Hmm. People weren't so sure about me driving, but I didn't let that get in the way. Just like how you shouldn't be discouraged when you tell people about Jesus. Since we're talking about what we say, let's play a game of Guess That Gibberish Challenge. I'm so excited. Okay, okay you wanna go first? I will. Okay. Dutch jean up hole off horns? Your jeans have holes in them uh, and it was caused by horns. I think I did that wrong. <laughs> say it faster. Dutch jean up hole off horns. <laughs> Dutch jean up. <laughs> Dutch Gina up hole of horns. <laughs> Dutch Gina. Dutch Gina. Dutch Gina pull of horns. <laughs> Dutch Gina pull It's just a bowl of worms. Dutch Jean. Dutch Jean. <laughs> Dutch Gina. Touching. Oh, touching a bowl of worms. Ah, I bet that's it. I bet that's it. Your turn. Okay, here we go. He tings crows, no cones. Oh, he tings crows, no cones. Eating snow cones. He's eating a snow cone. All right, so say say each word slower. He tings, crows. Oh, eating gross snow cones. Eating gross snow cones. Yay, I couldn't have done it without Yay, your direction. I helped. You did. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, game changer. Oh boy. We're changing up the game. Can you guess this gibberish while wearing mouth guards? Is that what these things are for? Okay. Mouth guard. They are sealed, never been used. Oh boy. Let's, let's give it a try. All right, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. Oh, no. This feels <laughs> awful. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> okay, oh, that hurts. Okay, I'm gonna go like this until oh. I have to die. All right, Jay, here you go. Uh, Here's the game changer. Okay. <laughs> All right, you ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so Play tough chocolate chip gookies. <laughs> Jay, this is very closely, okay? Today. <laughs> Today? Today. Play tough chocolate chip gookies. Hey, though. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, Play your job. chocolate chip cookies. Great job. Oh, what you got, Jay? You guys are hard on. This is a hard on. What? Ah, 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 <laughs> I don't know. Oh. oh, you have a towel? 
Oh, you gotta get in your towel. <laughs> Sit faster. Oh, 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 Hard one. <laughs> For shoes? <laughs> like yeah, like she shoes? Can I have a shoes? Can I have hot pouches? Can I have some algae? Algae. Algae. Good job. Oh, I, I need a drill uh, locket. This table is really good. Oh, ah. Let's check this out. <laughs> I think it's coming out. Disrespectful phrases can harm thoughtful conversations. Pay attention to these scenarios to avoid possible pitfalls. Example number one. I have something important to share with you. Disrespectful translation. Is it? Shh. Okay, what I'm about to share with you. Is it? No, no, please, please don't interrupt, okay? It, it, what I'm about to share with you is gonna uh, change everything in your entire tiny little life, okay? I'm here to save you from what I assume you're going through. Why don't we look at the respectful translation? Can I tell you something? I know we've been friends for a while and we don't always talk about what we believe, but I want you to know my whole story and I care about what you think. Example two, we have different beliefs. Disrespectful translation. <sighs> That's so idiotic. Your parents said that? Oh, honestly, why don't you just fire your parents and get some new ones? What, you read that in a book? Please, get a library card. You're reading the wrong books, but I can tell you what the right ones are. Respectful translation. Oh, wow, I didn't know that about you. Where did you learn that? I'm curious. Could I tell you what I believe? It's a bit different, but it changed my life. Example three. I noticed you're having a rough day. Disrespectful translation. Allow me to make an assumption. Your life is really jacked up right now, but it it's okay. It's okay, I can fix it, okay? I have a list of things that you need to do to make your life right. Step one, why don't we stop with all the curse words? Respectful translation. Man, are you doing okay? You look like you're having a bad day. Is there anything I could do to help? I, I know when I'm having a bad day that I like to pray. Maybe I could pray with you. Our final example, I know the truth. Disrespectful translation. No, 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 no. Listen, listen to me, okay? I, I am right. You are wrong. Why? Because I can provide a never-ending stream of proof that you are wrong. This is about to be a tidal wave of evidence, and you're not going to get a word in. Edgewise, okay? Now listen to me. Respectful translation. Man, I honestly can't say that I agree with that, but I'm just basing that off my own life experience and what I know to be true. It's very real to me. What's your experience? Oh, I, I was just reading this verse the other day. Uh, you've got to see it. I want to show it to you. If you want to be more respectful, be mindful of the things you say and how you say them. And don't forget, sometimes the best thing to say is nothing at all. Oh. This is hard. Uh, <laughs> uh, gun changer. Oh. Lift your off guard in. Shoot this gun. Oh, oh. oh. oh I do like oh. that. I'm so ready. Let's get us a girl. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh yeah, just take it right, like an apple. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. I just saw it. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Try to roll off. Huh? Try to roll off. Oh, 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 roll off. I know. I never quite realized how important your lips are. Chewing gum is so difficult. I agree. Hey, you should. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. 
Maybe we should go to something else just to get Freddy gross. <laughs> the Cheyenne. Honestly, I first. Okay, I'm um, gonna search. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not helpful. Um. Hey, I just noticed you, you were oh Googling something goodness. online. Why can I help you find something? Who are you? What are you doing in my oh. living room? You know, I'm the internet, but you can call me Webbles. Okay. Hi, Webbles. Hi, Allie. Hi. How are you doing? I'm, I'm good. What, so what were you good. looking for? Um, well, I'm actually searching how to talk to my friends about Jesus. Oh, well, that's easy. All oh. caps. You do it in all caps. You shout at them and you tell them that you're right and they're wrong. No, I, I think that's kind of... Rude. Well, that's the way people do it online. I, I still think, I don't think that's right. Oh, oh, so you want more trickery. N okay, the way you no, do that is you invite um, someone for a sleepover on a Saturday, and then you tell them you're not going to church, but then you actually do go to church, boom, they accept Jesus. No, that's, that's dishonest. Oh, yeah, I guess that is kind of lying, it's isn't it? not a good friend. Okay, well, not rude. Not sneaky. You want more bribery. No. Uh, you tell someone no. that you're going to be their boyfriend if you, uh, uh, they go to church with you. No, don't. Don't ever do that. Just never. Well, I mean, doesn't work. It could. No, it it doesn't. It doesn't oh, work. Okay. Um, no, but I, you know, I have an idea. A little bit of an idea. Yeah, I can, I'm like, run curious it. What do you think? Run it by you. You're turning down my ideas. <laughs> well, I think. How about this? I think sometimes we need to make sure that we don't think about people like their projects, and remember that they're friends. Oh, uh, people are project. No, people are. How's it go? People are not projects. Uh -huh. They're friends. People are not projects. They're friends. Yeah. So, right, well, all of our friends are different. Like, every person is different. No one's the same. So, we all come from different backgrounds and different families and maybe even different religions. Like, everyone yeah. has their own story. Everyone. No, no two people are the same. No two people are the same. So, we can't just pretend those stories don't exist when we're talking about Jesus. We have to We have to respect that their their worldview might be different. Okay. Right? Um, so, we just don't do anything. We just smile at them and hope that they ask of us about Jesus? No, or? not that either, because it's important that our friends know that we're Christians. So, okay, how about this? What What do you like to talk to your friends about? Fiber optic connections. Why? Because I love it. I, it's super yeah. fast. It's the best internet yeah. in the world. I mean, everyone should have a fiber optic connection. Absolutely. So I, I love Jesus, right? I love dancing. I love um, dance videos. I love Disney. Yeah, so I know. I can tell. <laughs> you post about that stuff all the time. I do. Yeah, yeah I, I do. I know everything. Um, so, it's creepy. Um, so yeah, I, I talk about those things with my friends because I care about those things. So as as Christians, we have this great opportunity to, to not save people. That's not our job. That's not where we're supposed to be. That's not your oh. responsibility. But it is our job to create opportunities for people to hear about Jesus. Wow. And one of the ways that we can do that is just talking about things that we love. Just like I talk about dance videos, I'm gonna talk to people about what Jesus is doing in my life, what, what I did at church on Sunday, what I'm reading in my Bible, what I'm praying about. Hmm. And those things provide opportunities because because it is important that we share it's important that people know that we're walking with Jesus but it's also important that we share the hope that we have with the world with care and with respect wow you know what I, I gotta say I know a lot of stuff but I just learned something today oh, yeah well, well, thank you That's <laughs> thanks fun. thanks yeah. Allie I've had fun this is fun yeah this is good this so is what do you want to look for now well actually you know I think maybe I've had enough screen time oh for the day. Oh. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna shelf that for now. I'll be back. Don't worry, I'll be back. Oh, okay. But I'm gonna shelf that for now and I'm gonna go call my friend Chelsea and invite her to church with me on Sunday. You're a good friend, Allie. Hey. Alright, well I'll talk to you later then. Alright, bye, bye guys. guys. Huh. Glad to be done with that. Remember, you are responsible for sharing Jesus with respect. You're not responsible for saving people. Go out and tell everyone that Jesus shapes lives into something better. As you go out, start friendships, not projects. Thanks for letting us be a part of your story, Game Changers. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride! Now in gibberish, engine, engine boy the ride! ride. Think about all the ways that we are different from other people. And I think that this is a gift, right? It's really easy at times to get so caught up in the differences that sometimes we can find ourselves not knowing how to respond. And that's the beauty of listening, of simply slowing down and asking questions. That's the fastest way that we can start to build a connection with the people who are different from us. So what is it gonna look like for you to take the time to listen to someone else this week? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much that you have called us to treat others with respect, 
to love others just as they are. And so I pray that you'll give us opportunities to listen, to hear, and to see others the same way that you see us. I pray all this in Jesus' name. So what's it gonna look like for you this week to slow down, to listen, to understand the people who are different from you? See you next time. Oh gosh. Slowing down and listening. <laughs> Sometimes I think that person's uh, too different from me. There's no way I could be their friend. And then I don't even take the time to listen before I like build this wall between us. Good grief, yeah, I, this is definitely a message that I needed to hear. If you wanna dive deeper into all this about sharing what you believe in a way that honors Jesus, then you could open up this Bible plan. Uh, the link on screen will take you there, but it's called Be a Game Changer. You can also open up the YouVersion Bible app and search Loop Show and you'll find it there. Um, but it's, it's made specifically for you about this topic. Um, now, we're supposed to go to the questions uh, now, but, but uh, so the questions and I got into a bit of a fight and I think I need to say sorry before, before they come back. Hey, questions. I'm sorry I made fun of your font. How about we go to lunch today and you can tell me all about how you chose your font. Questions? Talk to your, your family about these. Questions! Well, there you are!